Howdy y'all, Bearded Carpenter here. We happen to be in the Ozark Mountains, somewhere in the Ozark Mountains. We're not really sure exactly where we are, but we started a cabin for a, a fellow from a plum across the state, actually. And this is uh, a little bit different than what I've normally done. These timbers are all seven by 12. And so it makes it somewhat easier. And there'll be a time where we show you about the splices. There's been several people ask about splicing logs. Now, if you're going to have to do a log splice, it's easier to do with what we're working with. Now, I'm not the contractor on this job. We're just here to do the, the logs, the timbers, but we'll bring you along with us. And I have a special, actually two special friends that are here with me. Dan, if you'll step over here, buddy. He's got his Hollywood sunglasses on. <laughs> this is Dan Aruda from Pennsylvania. And we're so fortunate to have this young man down here with us. He's quite accomplished. And if you happen to get on YouTube, look up Pinecraft Log Homes, and you'll see this young man in action. And you'll see him in action here because we'll be videoing him. Now, Dan's a little camera shy, but we'll get him over that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he'll be okay. Yeah, I appreciate you coming down, Dan. And David, come here, brother. He's a little camera shy also. This is... My friend David, my brother David, and he came over here with me from the western side of the state. And he's here to do the hewing. And if you look, if you'll step aside, you can see he's using the peeling disc that we showed you in one video where we made log faces. And we're hewing all these logs with a peeling disc. We're not using a broad axe. We're trying to make our time count here. So just hang with us and enjoy the ride. And we'll do some more videoing. Well, for the Ozark cabin, this is round one seawall the first log to be set here we go this yeah watch paul Swing, swing my way. Nope, too much. Okay, I'm started down. I got go up. I got to come back to you. Okay, all right, back to you, Dan. Okay, I'm just on the rod. Are we in the hole? Barely. Oh, maybe on that other one. I need a hammer. Get a block of wood. Yeah, I will probably. All right, come down slow. Looks like it needs to go back there. Let me cheat it left a little bit. Easy down. Easy down. Easy down. We're in. Okay. Oh. Hold up. It's good to go. Easy down.
needs to come your way an eighth of an inch. You got a hammer? That was good, David. You, mm -hmm. you get to stay. And I'll give you another piece of apple pie. Look at that young man go. Wow. I wish I was your age again. <laughs> okay, we're good. Bit, but okay, Dan. Yeah, we'll get yeah. <laughs> good, right. it's good. David is stopping, as you saw, just before he gets into the notch area. And I'll take my slick and finish this area here out because we don't want to get below our lines here. And that could happen really, really easy with the peeling disc. And so we've got to be very careful with this area right here.
Okay, we're coming in with the seawall. These logs are planed on both sides. And they're very gently coming in with the with the log. We splice our logs with a mortise and tenon. This is an eight inch tenon. And the mortise is in this log that Daniel is rolling up here. Are you ready? Got a boom in. Boom in. Boom in, yeah. Now, I do cut them, so we gotta hit them. Yeah, it's gonna be snug. Can I have the sledge, please? I got it. Thank yeah, you, I, sir. I do want. I, I cut them, so you gotta smash them. Yeah. Does it go left just a little bit? have to pull it together. Yeah. I'm going to tap on the end to bring it this way just a little. Okay. Just don't let me hit your pinky. Tis it. It opened back up. That's all right. Okay, the splice is together. It will be pulled together and fit, but already Dan has done a fantastic job. I mean, we'll pull this together and we'll peg it. As you can see there, got inch and a quarter pegs, oak pegs on the splice, and that should hold it together. Sweet.
down. We're into some pretty tricky lifting here with this slab already here. Makes it a little more difficult to get to where we need to be. And so far we've been able to handle everything with these splices. It's working well. Can you swing this way? You're pretty close. Can you uh, extend, zoom out, whatever that would look like? Yeah. Do I need to come my way down? Uh, no, no, I'm keeping it. Can you just come down, David? You still need to come over some? No. Nope. Good deal. I can pull that together.